Hi, this is Cheryl back with you from Farmhouse Frugally. Today we are decorating for fall. I know it's still summer, but you know, you got to get a jump on these things. So I have this two tier tray that I emptied and I just went ahead and grabbed a couple pumpkins and some sunflowers and a few other fall things, a little orangey colored bird and just decorated that in my kitchen corner. And then I had these pink flowers from the spring summer. So I just pulled those out to keep the vase and just switched out the greens. So when you wanna decorate, keep the expensive stuff and switch out the inexpensive. I pulled out a bunny here and there, added a little pop of color. This was just a green wreath, just added a couple of flowers to it. Same thing, just a few flowers. Pulled off the bunny, put on the bird. Same exact everything. Doesn't cost a lot of money to change out the little stuff. I kept the same display. I pulled out the lavender and I filled it with some of these mums. So this year I just wanted to stay simple and frugal. I went ahead and just gave that those little pops and there you go. Voila. Went right to fall with literally a couple dollars worth of greenery. In my case, most of the greenery was free. Then I had this beautiful blue grain scoop that's been hanging in my living room, not really adding a lot of value to my living room. And it occurred to me that it is the same color as the hutch that I have in my kitchen. So I went ahead and tried a couple different florals, hung a little cloth from the bottom of it. And I love the way that it balances the blue in the kitchen on the other side of the room. And then I happen to have this little glass cake holder I'm waiting for my daughter to pick it up. So I just popped a little pumpkin underneath it, just a little pop here and there around the room. And now it looks like fall. Very, very easy, very inexpensive. And I love the orange red that I have been, that I'm using this year. Very unusual for me, um, but I was given a whole lot of it. So why not? And now in the living room, which is generally fairly neutral, I took down the lavender and the lavender candles and I kept up everything else and I popped in its place some green candles and some pumpkins and then I switched out the garland and put a wreath on the mirror and here it is, simple beautiful, much nicer looking. I'm so happy with that. <laughs> and then here is one of the bookcases set up for spring and the other one side by side in the corner, just a whole lot of birds, bird houses. Took that all down, took away the greenery and kept the basics from behind. And then I had yet another wreath. Someone had given me a ton of wreaths. I have like eight fall wreaths. I took some pumpkin that I made last year with some cloth little bit of potpourri. I kept those same white items, took that breadboard, spindle breadboard I made in one of my recent videos and put that little um, truck on it for the fall. And here it is, very simple, red candles, a little bit of flowers, a wreath, pretty inexpensive to change it out. And I gra grabbed some of the red items I had in my sewing room. A um, little bit of uh, thread and fabrics, and I just love the color. I just really, really like the way that corner looks now. Just another pop of reddish orange, a little bit of yellow, and that corner is done. Let me know how you like that. And then I went ahead and I moved my stack of little um, firkins over there next to that. Gave that a little pop of color. And then I moved on to the couch table. I just put up a pumpkin, kept everything exactly the same, popped in a couple of little red flowers in the original wreaths. And then I grabbed a couple more for the bottom, which I had a little tin cup I had gotten recently in a haul in a basket I had already made up and put those down on the table for a little bit more red. And then moving over to my armoire, that was very kind of Christmassy already. Um, I had never taken some of those Christmas items down. So I kept this shelf the same. I really like it and I think that the pears lend themselves to fall. But I went ahead and took down the garland and I popped in a um, 
yellowy, mustard yellow wreath in one of the bowls. And then I switched out some carrots that were in this bowl for some little white pumpkins. And then um, everything else was kind of the same. That uh, little orangey colored wreath was the last thing I had found for wreaths. So I put that on the door and have a little bit more of that orangey red pop of color. Then this is the matching chair to a dining room chair that I have uh, recently received from a friend. So I just popped a little plaid bag over it, stuck that little um, ice chai sign over the top and moved on to the table. Pulled off the spring, added a couple pops of red, table was done. Moved over to the other table and removed the spring things. And then I took these pumpkins and they were too close to the table color. So I put that plaid placemat underneath them for a little bit of a pop of color so that they would stand out. It is absolutely torrential. So you can probably hear the rain. <laughs> Moving over to my coffee table, I put a runner, a tray, a pumpkin, and an old pip garland I've had hanging around for years. Simple. So here is a look at one side of the living room and then the other side still has some sale items so I just put the mantle from that side in. And then we are on to the dining room. Those are the three rooms that I did this year. Here is a mirror that I've had up for years and years and years. I just put another wreath, same green wreath, popped a few pieces in. You might have seen an earlier um, video where I just kind of snuck a few pieces in there. And then the bench that was already there, changed out a pillow, added my harvest sign, and moved on. Now the table looks like a bomb hit. So once I hung up a few wreaths, that kind of made some room. Had an extra sunflower wreath, so I put it near the clock. I like the colors. And then this one on the other side of the room. And then I took my spring things off of my hutch that had a lot of lavender and birds and other spring items on it so once i took that down i popped in some sunflowers and i had these orange pumpkins that i picked up on vacation a couple years back and um, a little bit more yellow changed out some of the candles added a pop of color inside the old green wreath and here and there, just little things. Honestly, so much of this has been given to me. I did not spend much money at all on these little pops of color. I think I paid $9 or $10 for the three wooden pumpkins um, years back. And uh, I think the rest of it was given me. So now my table's looking a little more reasonable. <laughs> so then I went ahead and took a lace runner and my old dough bowl that I love and just filled it with some of the items that I had left in those color tones and uh, just kind of tweaking it here and there until I got some items um, you know that I liked. The little green chair over there was looking a little bit bare and I needed something behind the picture in, near the um, corner so I found that thanks give thanks sign and um, then I had this tray of items that is the giveaway um, that I had just snapped some pictures of and I decided to just pop that right in on that green chair and I thought it came out adorable over there in that corner. I'm really liking the green, although at some point I do need to fix up these two chairs because they need some loving. But um, yep, that's the giveaway. Make sure you uh, follow the giveaway instructions on the video posted giveaway. And then here is a look at that. And then the latter, I just really changed out um, a few items. And uh, there we have it. So that is my three rooms decorated for fall. I would love a thumbs up. And please share this video. We're almost at 100, so we can do that giveaway. Thanks for stopping by. I will see you soon.